for having me. And uh, well, uh, NILIT is an under Ministry of Electronics and IT Bhavan of India. And we are under the capacity building, skilling, R&D, and different technologies, emerging technologies such as cybersecurity, forensic, artificial intelligence. That is a part of our, and we do execute a lot of government projects. Now, uh, we back in 20, uh, 2010, we established this uh, research and development cyber forensic lab. And this is the first of its kind in the entire state. And since then, we have been important training to law enforcement agency, police official, judiciary, and aspiring cyber you know, professionals. And uh, we provide uh, this uh, training, capacity building of the police officials. At the same time, uh, we do a, f a cyber crime investigation because there is only forensic lab in the state. And later, uh, three years back, and it is upgraded to the re regional resource center where we're getting to the entire notice as well, as a lead center, as a forefront in this uh, digital forensic. And uh, as I've mentioned, like, uh, through this uh, forensic lab, we are providing services to the law enforcement agency of the state. So whenever any cybercrime that has happened in the state, and from the neighboring state as well, any state, uh, the bring to a forensic lab and we give the expert opinion. And we do our expert uh, goes to the, you know, uh, the court to justify that, that you know, the, whether the crime has actually been carried out by the perpetrator or the criminals. So the expert opinion is being given by us, Nairit Khaima. And now, not only in uh, Nagaland, any state, but across the country, I mean, like, we have created, uh, you know, a lot of platform, virtual platform, where we're imparting training to the outside of the state as well. And we also set up the first data center, forensic data center in the uh, northeastern state. And through that, we are gathering to the needs of the requirement in the other parts of the country as well. Now, uh, since we are the forefront in this uh, digital forensic, as a NILIT as a national level institution, where we have in 40, uh, 42 locations across the country, now, uh, uh, two months back, uh, the government of India and the Egyptian government, uh, they had an understanding that in the technology domain, especially in the IT sector, and as we all know, our country is a world advanced in the information technology and other emerging technologies, they approached the government of India. And since we being under the government of India, uh, it was, you know, uh, delegated to the NILIT. So our director general of, uh, our Dr. M. M. Tripathi sir, he went to Egypt to sign an MOU on behalf of the government of India. And that is how uh, this was initiated. And as I said, Nelit Kohima being the lead in forefront, and we said in MOU, and this is the first, the cohort of the officials from uh, Egyptian. Like it includes uh, not only the government officials, but it includes the professor, lectures from university, the government employees, and the graduates. So the 30 of them are currently undergoing training uh, through a virtual platform through online training, there is uh, instructor lead training because technology is such that we are like a virtual classroom. And once the training is over, then they will come here to, for the physically to Nalit Kohima uh, for the, again, more practical, maybe after two months, once they complete the online part. So sir, uh, this training will go for how many long? Uh, it is for uh, two months, uh, 160 hours duration uh, for the uh, theoretical, practical. Of course, we are doing practical draw online as well. But at the same time, like uh, practically, physically, to visit for 10 days to Nagaland. So uh, we are very uh, glad, in fact, to the ministry as well as NALIT for giving this opportunity to NALIT. And NALIT Kohima is now on a global uh, you know, stage so that people are recognizing us that we are training the international students. So as I've mentioned, since 2010 onward, we are training a lot of police officials, actually. right? And uh, not only that, we also help the police officer to solve the cybercrime cases that is happening in our state. So almost, you know, in a week time, it, it all depends. Sometimes 10, uh, 10 to 15 cases, sometimes only four or five cases, you know, that is cybercrime. Once they report in the police station, because police being the investig investigation agency, they cannot be the expert. It is we, based on our expert opinion, then only the charge, they can take a further, you know, uh, take forward the charges of the crime that has happened. So we are providing the services to the state. Not only the state, state, but even the uh, other neighboring state. state also. It was established way back in uh, 2003. So the history behind of NILIT is that it was when the 
the late former Atul Bihari Vajpayee when he visited Nagaland in 2003, he, he made a promise to the people of Nagaland that uh, an IT institution will be set up. And this is how we started. In 2004 onward, we started in the rendered premises and we set up the, uh, you know, uh, the permanent campus. It is an elite. Now we also expanded to, we have one center in Dimapur also, exchange center. We have in, one in Chichimlang. And we have in almost more than 30 plus training partners across the you know, uh, state. As we all know, the IT has become a part and parcel of our life. You know, it is required everywhere, be it, uh, you know, if you just name it, any uh, domain, be it uh, education, be it uh, research, be it uh, telecom, be it uh, transport, everywhere the IT is uh, becoming mandatory and requirement for that. So if you see the Nagaland, we are, Nailit is one of this uh, institution where even Nagaland government is also declared as the only center of excellence in the state in IT education. And we import various skilled as well as capacity building courses like formal courses, degree courses, as well as short of a lot of specialized short term courses. Because we only know some few courses, but otherwise we have more than 50 plus different courses that we are running. And if you see that last year enrollment, it is almost, we have uh, almost 15,000 plus students we have enrolled in last year alone. So it is growing every year and hopefully we, are, we have given a target from the Prime Minister office that because being a national level institution, we have been given target by the government of uh, India. So we have given, given target of to train 20,000 this year. So hopefully we will achieve uh, no, those target. See, as I've mentioned, IT has a lot of prospect actually if you see. It fits in everywhere. I mean. But uh, one of the sad part of our state is that we, all, we always wanted to go for government job. But nevertheless, uh, like, you know, if IT people, we, we have a lot of st students who are entrepreneur now, you know, they have started their own because, and not only that, to promote the, uh, the entrepreneur, we start up a startup incubation center in Nelit Kohima, sponsored by the, uh, our ministry as well as with the Nagaland government. So I draw that we are generating startup so that it will, you know, create, uh, uh, generate employment opportunity for the young people who are interested in a tech startup, we call. Now, uh, as I said, like, some are just coming here for the enhance their skills. You know, they already have the job, but they wanted the skills. So it is not only the the students, but we we give impart training to the government officials as well as different organization as well. And in regard to job, like uh, we also do conduct a job fair. Last year also we conducted one job fair in uh, Dimapur where we got a lot of you know employer as well as the uh, more than two hundred people were selected. And this year also we are planning to have in the month of coming August. So likewise, we are also trying to link up with the other uh, multinational company from the other state. You know, uh, they are willing to come. But another thing, as I've said, you know, our people are not willing to go outside. That is also one of the challenges that we are facing. Otherwise, if you see, there are a lot of job opportunities that is coming up in IT sector. Nagaland TV, Sob Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.